What's up, guys? So today is actually the very first day that I'm going into a physical therapist's office and getting actual rehab work done. I'm pretty excited to be actually moving along. I've just been so, it's just such a weird mental state to be in where you feel so fine. Like I have no pain walking around or doing anything, but yet if I walk like a mile, then I'm so sore the next day just because my muscles are so weak now. You're just lying on the couch all day doing nothing, but then I'm like, that's the best thing I could be doing. It's, a, it's weird, you know, I, I love such a hard life. Perfect, thank you very much, you too. Thank you. Cool. See ya, thanks. So rehab is gonna be super straightforward, it sounds like. I still have something inside me where I'm like really nervous that it's gonna work because I've been through so many processes now that haven't worked. And so I'm just still kind of worried about, okay, is my groin actually going to feel better after all this? But I, yeah, I can't worry about that. Anyway, right now I'm going to head into my gym. I'm going to do a little bike ride, probably like 15 to 20 minutes, super slow. Just watch a video on YouTube and then I'm going to stretch and then head back home and eat again. And I'll talk more about my diet and uh, what I'm doing right now, specifically with like macros and calories when I get back. I got a fork. So after the gym, I went and got a uh, nice haircut, got cleaned up, I felt like garbage. I felt so dirty and just like, not like a real person because I've been lying on the couch so long. So I was like, I need a haircut. I need to trim the beard down. I need to like wash myself and just feel good. So now I feel really good. And when it comes to diet, especially during this time, especially during like injury time, if you guys are injured right now, or if you do get injured in the future, I highly, highly, highly recommend you do this. And what it is is to track your protein and calories. So I've been like over analyzing how much protein I'm getting because I've had surgery and this is a big injury and it's very muscular in the groin. I need to be getting enough protein for my body to recover to its fullest, like its best ability. And I also don't wanna be eating so much food that I'm gaining fat. So I wanna be in a maintenance phase, like under 3000 calories pretty much for me is like maintenance phase. And then for protein, I think it should be at least a minimum for me is a pound or a gram of protein for every pound of body weight. So I weigh 170 pounds roughly. Actually this morning I weighed 167. So a bare minimum for me is to get 167 grams of protein or 170 grams of protein. Now what I'm actually doing is I'm going for 1.2 grams of protein per pound of body weight. So I'm kind of shooting for that 200 milestone, about 200 grams of protein, which is a lot, but I wanna overkill it with protein. I really wanna get almost too much protein in my system, which actually has shown not to be dangerous for your liver or anything, but I wanna get a high protein diet so I can really rebuild as fast and as best as possible. I've been taking naps, I'm getting always eight hours of sleep, so that's gonna speed up this time, this recovery process as fast as possible. If you look at my uh, nutrition for yesterday, I got 193 grams of protein. That's well above my minimum goal of 170 grams of protein, almost at my maximum goal of 200. And then today, so far, I'm at 74 grams of protein and it's almost 1 p.m., so not bad. Anyway, today I've really just been kind of editing, answering emails. I haven't worked on the Footballers Physique program at all. I've shown in the last one, so I'm not gonna show in this one. It's like nine o'clock at night. Mimi was supposed to land at 10.30 tonight, but then her flight's delayed. She's in the air right now, so she's gonna come in probably in another about two hours. So in about an hour and a half, I'll start driving down to the airport, pick her up, and then she's here for a long like four day weekend, which I'm really excited about. But uh. But yeah, I'm excited. So if you guys can see on the screen right now, these are all my macros. So as you can see, I'm at 170 grams for protein. I'm really, I'm already past what I want for carbs and I'm over on fat, so I'm perfect there. I just wanna get a little bit more protein in my diet, so I did 20 more grams of protein in this smoothie. I'm gonna add this into uh, my fitness pal and then I will have 190 grams for the day. And then that's perfect. That means I, and that's perfect. That means I'm like right at like 1.2 grams of protein for, and that's perfect. That means I'm like one, and that's perfect. That means I'm like, and that's perfect. That means I'm like, oh my God. 
and that's perfect. That means that I am like 1.2 grams of <laughs> Oh my god, and that's perfect because that means I have 1.2 grams of protein per pounds of body weight Which is great as I said for my surgery finally and I have the leather jacket and I had really cute. I look good, Matthew. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> no. Mimi's here. No, I'm not. Stop. But my calves were so sore. Mm -hmm. I don't wear heels, heels, heels like that, that often. I've worn from the Did evening. you work out like legs or anything before you went? Today's the first day I don't feel tired. Maybe you should toughen up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Really quick. All So just got back from the gym. Again, I'm gonna put everything that I've been doing for the last eight days now on the screen. Anyway, like usual, I'm having my normal breakfast. Four eggs, spinach, avocado toast with some spices on top, and then a huge smoothie. And then just like I said yesterday, I'm tracking everything on uh, my fitness pal. Like I said, I'm trying to be in like maintenance, the surplus phase, but my main goal is just to hit at least 170 grams of protein per day. And um, if, if ideally try to get up to 200 grams of protein. So, I mean, this is a huge breakfast I've already had. I mean, the smoothie is ginormous and already I'm looking at 80 grams of protein, almost 200 carbs, and 50 grams of fat just for breakfast. If you are struggling with an injury, if you need to really work on getting protein, if you're trying to gain weight, if you're trying to lose weight, if you really wanna work on your maintenance, then track somehow what you're eating. Track your protein, track your calories, or just even just one day, just so you can get an idea of what your normal day looks like. Because if you're going through your normal day, and you eat all the food that you're eating and you're trying to gain weight and you, you're thinking that you're eating a ton and then you look at it on paper and you're like, wow, I'm eating, Sorry. <laughs> I'm eating 2,400 calories and 90 grams of protein, you're not gonna gain weight. So just do it once to get an idea of like, okay, that's what a normal day of like eating should feel like. This much food, this much protein, this healthiness kind of standard. So you get a good idea so you can do that every day. All right, now I'm gonna get super full. I'm gonna eat all this. Trying to get that 200 grams of protein so my body can recover. You know what I'm saying, Mimi? How's, what do you think of Portland so far, babe? I think that I belong here. That you belong here? Yeah. You like Portland more than San Diego? 100%. <laughs> 100 That is so bull. We should just switch. I'll live in San Diego, and then you can live in Portland for the, for the entire... I entire asked life. You to do that multiple times. What if we did that? Or so we, we just get married and mm -hmm. then you go and come up to Portland. <laughs> yep. And then we'll swap. I'll go hang out with your family the whole time swap. and you can hang out with mine. Yeah. We'll swap mm -hmm. in the summer. So I'll come up here in Portland in the summer. You can go down to San Diego. Yeah. Good. Hey, he made your coffee a heart. Yeah, because he thinks I'm cute. Yeah, I didn't get one. So we're in a. I have no idea. I always, what school, is this place? Schoolhouse. Schoolhouse Electric and Supply Co. Just in Portland, downtown. Just getting, you know, just a cup of, a cup of cappuccino. A cup of joe. Cup of cap. A cup of cap. <laughs> just getting a cup of cap. And then just chilling. I'm going to work a little bit. Mimi, are you going to work? I don't know what you're going to do. But there's like furniture stuff in here, so I wanted to bring Mimi down here because I think she'd really like it. So that's pretty much it. I mean, this whole weekend has just kind of been going around Portland, showing Mimi around, even though she's been here before, but it's been really fun. Mimi, I've enjoyed that you've been here. Have you had fun? <laughs> 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 no one can see you nod. <laughs>
But no, it's been really good. Um, I'm just editing right now. We're going out to dinner. Me, 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 uh, my mom, my dad, my sister, and her boyfriend all out to dinner tonight. Uh, and then hopefully on Monday, I'll really start back up again on the rehab. Her boyfriend, Robbie. <laughs> Nobody's going to get that joke. <laughs> it's just a little test to see if your sister's watching. Yeah, she's not watching. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. These videos have kind of spanned three days, which has kind of been longer just because there's not much content when I'm doing this rehab. They will pick up once I start doing more intense workouts, once I start running, once I start playing with the ball. So I'm excited. Hope you guys are excited. Thank you for sticking along through this kind of like quote unquote like boring time. I really appreciate all the support. I really appreciate all you guys smashing the like button, subscribing, and uh, just just being my friends. <laughs> I right, see you guys. <laughs> so lame. <laughs>